All right, hello everyone. We are back for another tutorial here. And this is for Milano hole number four. We are going to try to set up here to play a layup shot into the first fairway. Now what I do suggest usually is using a bit of a power ball, maybe like a two power ball at the minimum. But I have a little bit more confidence in my game. So you're going to see me push that bound a little bit because I think I can handle it. You know, I might need to just go, you know, you never know. You might have to, I, I might have to go full, full on the next two shots after this layup shot. Um, keep in mind when I do that drive there, I like to go, um, it does play down, downhill. So I like to go a little bit extra. So my normal would be like 10 rings and I went like 12 rings there. So my accuracy is 84 on this club, which is 1.3 per ring, which means that like a 12 wind will go about 10 rings, give or take, 9, nine to 10. But keep in mind that it's straight into the wind. Uh, additionally, um, you know, it, that downhill nature is going to really resist that wind. So you're going to want to overplay the wind a bit. That's why you see me playing about 12 wind, 12 rings. It is good to get somewhat aggressive with the fairway edge. Um, laying it back that far can be a little bit challenging um, depending on the next wind. So you, you see the wind that we got, we're both, we'll both be okay. But it can get into, I mean as you can see, especially if I had to go full, which I'm not going to have to thankfully, but I am going to go about 10 rings. So from this spot I'm going to go 5, 10, kind of like that. Um, additionally, I will back off just slightly, kind of like here, and just try to get it down as far as I can. <clears throat> so let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> and you can see you just kind of sometimes need to force the issue a little bit more with a one power ball. You can see my opponent here also has a one power ball. Might be good for... Um, him or her to uh, hit full here. As you can see, you basically can. So getting aggressive with that. But what I don't recommend is um, what they're doing with their spin. They're they're basically like spinning it away from the the other fairway. And I'm a little worried. It's going to be close. As you can see, it's just running that edge. So you want to kind of avoid having to do that. If that would have took a second bounce on the rough and trickled through, it might have made the second shot, uh, the third shot, not able to reach here. Mm -mm. But no, no harm there. You'll see what I try to do here. First off, since it's a left or right, I'm going to just kind of counter it over kind of like this. And you'll see that I'll just, uh, you know, do it this way where since I'm adjusting this way I'm staying away from the rough and that's the reason for my angle side spin I don't always do that but it's just because of the way that I'm aiming over here farther uh, into the rough I don't I want to make sure that I don't accidentally clip the rough when I actually take my shot <clears throat> and there you see just a tiny bit of an overplay I kind of played it very spot up to max um, adjustment which was a little bit of an overplay um, I know that it plays a little bit uphill on this shot well, but what I was hoping with if I go the exact amount of rings that hopefully some of that side spin from the wind um, you can see that it's a left to right wind I was hoping some of that little cut left to right would kind of kick my ball a little bit more to the right and as you can see I just kind of overestimated that if you do play it up on this top half of the fairway, which I do sometimes, this just isn't a win that I do it that way, you're going to need backspin to hit this shot. But you can see from where I landed, you don't need backspin. It's just kind of a very straightforward approach. And one of the biggest reasons I like to use it is, as you can see, what this person just did. They stopped it short. When I don't use any backspin, it never stops short. So that's one of the reasons that I like to do the... Um, approach off the front of the fairway like I do as opposed to what you saw my opponent do 
So I am going to split this video up just for a little bit. Um, so that way I can just kind of put this in an individual holes file. Um, good luck with this hole, guys. Um, uh, I think, uh, you know, with some good strategy and if you check out a lot of my content, I'll give you a good chance to potentially meet that eagle. Um, win it outright, but at the very least, teach you how to play it safe. Um, and uh, avoid the mistake of losing outright. So I'm going to split these up real quick. I'll be right back.